Hey, it's me again. So um, I guess people are interested in what I carry every day. So I figured I'd do a um, EDC bag dump and uh, pocket dump and talk a little bit about the new version of the bag that I made. Okay. Um, so first thing first, things that are on me, usually a pair of sunglasses. These are by Distill Union. Love these. Um, headphones. So these are um, Audio Technica um, ATHD SR5BT for Bluetooth. About eight hours of uh, playback. Um, I like these, they're good. Um, I like the next style. Uh, so I do need uh, a headset that allows me to run it continuously for about eight hours because usually my trips on the airplane about nine to ten hours so in between them um, I can use these um, I do have a pair of uh, noise cancelling headphones and some other headphones that depending on the trip I'll take or not take so but these are my everyday carry I love these um, other than that um, my watch is a Casio Mudmaster um, GWG 1000 this is one of the earlier versions that they have uh, it's on a strap that I made by myself uh, because I love the watch, the strap, I'm not a big fan of. So uh, I just made a my, my, uh, my own um, my watch band. It has a Sunto clip-on compass on it. Um, I, like, I like it just because I can just look at it and figure out which way is what. Um, this thing is a Tech Army um, CPLU. Uh, it's a flashlight. Um, this is one of my uh, things that I bought while I did a lot of airline traveling pre-COVID. Um, it comes really handy if, if you drop something on the airplane, um, uh, you know, uh, between the seats and stuff, you can, you know, because it sits on your watch um, uh, or your, on your wrist, um, you know, it helps me light up my, uh, you know, when I, when I want to pick up. I, I carry a lot of flashlights, but um, usually those go into my checked bag or they're up in the, uh, up in the uh, storage bin uh, or in front of my seat in my backpack this way triple click it and it comes on uh, it lights up my hands comes in real handy uh, long press turns off so um, it's not cheap um, but it's definitely worth it so mech army cplu uh, wrist flashlight um, my keys are on this key smart fob um, it's the one with the tile integrated it uh, comes with a flashlight, not that I use it that often, but it does have a flashlight on it. Um, I've made some modifications to it in a sense that I carry a set of uh, Southern Specialty picks in it. Uh, the cool part of these are is that um, Southern Specialties makes this uh, lock picking jackknife thing. Um, I love this thing. It's, I had a couple of different variations of uh, jackknife lock picks, but this one super nice uh, love it uh, thanks rubber band for getting me on these so what i did i took a couple of the picks that they have and i have incorporated into the into my key smart um, and i drilled a hole a little bit bigger things like that uh, the one thing i did have to do is i had to add a stopper in there so i uh, put some piano wire so that it, the uh, pick stops the cool part of it is is that uh, once you close all the keys the space in between the keys and the body uh, make it really hard to uh, to see the picks because it drops into shadow so it's a little bit less more obvious uh, tool set um, other than that I have a beard comb you know, cause, well, I have a beard uh, it's kind of a nice feeling to relax once in a while um, this is a uh, Rovivon uh, Aurora A8U uh, U stands for UV light same thing flashlight really bright i think it's about 300 lumens uh triple click oh, two three gets you the uv uh, light so you know uh, kind of helps um, and then um, it has a red beacon on it and you know flashes but if you do oh hold on one two three four uh, it comes like a little reading light that you can put on the table that light up whatever you're working on. Uh, Cannibal from, uh, you know, uh, got me on these. I love these. 
Like I said, I have a lot of flashlights that I carry around. Uh, they come in really handy. Um, and I have a thing for it. Um, hand sanitizer. Uh, this is an old Nightcore flashlight pouch that I just kind of refurbished for my hand sanitizer. And that sits on the keychain like that and it hangs off my belt. So <coughs> that's on me. Uh, wallet, to me long wallet. Um, I love this wallet. Um, I bought this at an airport one time, but um, it carries my travel documents, uh, eat my ticket, copy of my ticket, some cash in various currencies because I go to places where they won't take credit cards. So, you know, I need currency and I don't know when I will be asked to go on a plane. So I usually carry everything on me uh, that way. Uh, what I do have, I have a magnet uh, viewing seat in there which comes uh, really handy if I have a va magnet right now. Uh, hold on. You. Just grab a magnet. Yeah. So uh, if you don't know one of these, basically you can see where the magnets interact. So, you know, um, it's kind of a neat tool. Um, you can buy these off of Amazon or at, s at a science shop. That sits in the wallet. Um, Various sims for different countries that I go to, hotel uh, membership cards, yeah, those kind of things sit in here. So, um, yeah. So that's that's my wallet. Um, I did add uh, the paracord to it because it's kind of a long wallet, and depending on the chair that I'm sitting in, it will fall off out of my back pocket. So this way I don't lose it. The phone um, is an iPhone 11 uh, that I'm using right now to record this. Uh, sits in this leather holster that I made that hangs off my belt uh, like that because um, I hate having phones in my pocket uh, it's just too bulky especially with the case on it and all this other stuff on it uh, it just gets too much for me so I created a leather holster uh, this is my fourth version of my phone carrying holster it's basically some leather work that I did um, inside here I have another flashlight Streamlight uh, Stylus Pro super bright um, I love this too. It's rugged. It's, uh, it sits on me. Uh, Fisher Space Pen. Uh, this is their Infinium. Um, like that. I love this pen. Uh, it's unlike the other uh, thinner ones um, that I will show maybe later. Uh, this one has a little bit of more uh, girth to it. Makes it super easy to write. The pressurized ink is awesome. So carry that. Uh, the pen and the flashlight I use all the time. So. And that sits in this leather case wallet. So that's on me. Um, I think that that's everything I carry on me. So let's go to the bag. Uh, now, pre-COVID, I used to carry a lot more tech. Um, right now, because of COVID, I, I basically go back and forth between my workshop and my home. Uh, my home and my workshop are about... 30, 40 minutes away. Um, I need that time to switch off on and off. So when I come to the workshop on the way in, I know that I'm going to be Kentaro at the workshop. If I go home, then I know I can turn off uh, my workshop mode and be Kentaro at home. So um, I'm too undisciplined to work from home. Um, so 20 years ago, um, I started having my own workshop. Um, and um, yeah, it's been working out very good for me um, I like the separation that it allows me so but like I said um, you know before COVID you know I would go out to client meetings or um, you know just wander around the city doing some research or trying to find things or I'll carry like a Raspberry Pi or something um, to do some Wi-Fi scanning uh, just to see what's around me and you know to find out more things now with COVID I, I just go back and forth between this workshop and my home so I carry a far less tech because I have the machines that I need here and I have a minimum set up a laptop at home that, you know, if I need to get to do, get some work done, I can do that at the laptop home. So I, there really is no me need for me to carry my laptop. Um, so tech wise, it's going to be a little bit disappointing. Um, this is the iPad mini. Uh, this is the fifth generation of it. Um, I had their fourth generations. I love it. This is the seller version. Um, the case is really beat up because, you know, I travel with this all the time. I used to travel with this every time. I love the form factor. It's small enough. love reading on it. Uh, comic. It's basically for my media consumptions. I don't, I don't do much other than media consumptions on the iPad. Uh, and for, the, for me, the Mini is a perfect size. Uh, 
than the uh, than the other ones. So, okay. Uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. Uh, once again, I like the small form factor. Um, yeah, you know, helps me on the on the plane at the airport. Waste my time, uh, spend my time. Uh, right now, Animal Crossing. Got to get that Animal Crossing hours in there. So that's the Switch Lite. Um, this is what I call uh, my mind notebook. Um, it's a sp special notebook that I have made that I jot down little interesting facts that I learn or hear or read or see on TV. Um, this is basically my reference point, right? Uh, um, so you can see some of the, 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 st the sticky sticking out, but um, so it will cover anything from like, you know, it will have like text like this. Is, this is about cold reading that I found interesting when I was reading a book about it. Um, then there was a time I had a chance to uh, sit down with an uh, uh, astrologer. So I asked her all about astrology, what the different symbols mean and how they're relating to each other. Um, little facts about that I found that I read about in another book or, you know, I saw on TV. So um, basically it's, it's a little bit disorganized, but it's a reference notebook that I find um, interesting things. I'll write it in here. So that's, that's that. Um, notebook. So as, um, I work as a translator in InfoSec. So um, I need these notepads to write down um, visual cues for me to be able to translate uh, because sometimes somebody will go on for 20 minutes then I have to repeat everything exactly like they said for the next 20 minutes. So I write these, um, I go through these one per meeting almost. So I have a stack of these uh, on me uh, in my bag. Uh, Land to Sea Summit ripstop tote bag. It's pretty big. Um, this thing has a little pouch that, you know, once uh, you're done with it, you can actually kind of squish it in there and it becomes a lot small, smaller. Um, in case I need to pick up groceries or I, I go do some shopping and the thing that I bought is a little bit bigger than my bag. goes like that. goes all the way in. Um, let's see. Umbrella. Small umbrella. Fold up umbrella because it's rain season. It rains a lot. So. Uh, a little pouch. Uh, I used to be a big fan of tactical pouches with 1,000 DR Kodura or 500 even. Um, I've kind of outgrown that phase now. Um, I like these ripstop ultra light. Um, th they, they usually sold at uh, hiking or outdoor shops. Um, they're super light. I love them. Um, like I said, as a translator, I, I need a lot of pens. So this has all my stationery. So it holds all the pens and Sharpies. And yeah, there's a lot of pens that I go through. So, um, so. Yeah, because usually at one session, I'll have like four or five pens in front of me. I can't stop because the other guy's always talking. If I'm writing down and the pen stops giving me the ink, I'll just chuck it, grab the other one. So carry a lot of pens on me. A um, little notepad for daily, daily jot down stuff that, you know, things that I think about or when I'm thinking about a build, if I have like something like I have a good idea that I think about it, write it down in here. Um, here's a, uh, Tautronics selfie stick. This is not, I don't carry this as a selfie stick. The reason why I carry this is because this selfie stick is made out of aluminum. Um, and, uh, I'll let you, I'll let you figure out why, but it's, uh, it's very sturdy. So, and, um, yeah, so just in case, you know. Uh, Tokyo has a very strict no tool policy. Um, can't carry a blade, can't carry screwdrivers, scissors, nail clippers, uh, multi tools are definitely no. -o -o. Um, so, and the police can stop and frisk you anytime. They can compel you to give over your stuff. They can go through your items. So, um, um, you can transport them, but you can't have them on you. So, but the determination of that is left up to the uh, questioning officer. So, you know, um, I don't carry any knives, multi-tools or anything on me uh, or in the bag uh, for that uh, matter. Um, Cause I know people who got arrested for nail clippers. So, uh, another plastic bag, could be used for trash or more stuff, you know, to put in there. Um, another bigger 
uh, land to see. Uh, so this is a duffel bag version that has a zipper on top of it in case I need a bigger bag. So that goes in there. Uh, a lot of these things that are in here um, are in here for pre from pre-COVID times. And I'm just, I just like, well, we'll just leave it in there. It's, it doesn't bother me, so that's why it sits in there. Uh, microfiber cloth to wipe my lenses of my glasses and uh, and my camera lens on my phone. Um, <coughs> hand cream because you know the uh, disinfectant really dries up your hands. So some good moisturizing hand cream. It's always nice. Um, backup face mask. This is a cloth face mask, um, just in case you know. Uh, I don't have it on me. Uh, I have a face mask on me. Uh, beard balm, because uh, well, I have a beard. Um, simple first aid kit. So medicine, bandage, disinfectant, candy. Um, as a translator, you know, uh, I end up speaking twice the dis uh, the length of the conversation because I I'm talking both ways. So my after a whole day of engagement, my throat usually is really tight. So I have to have some candy on me to relax my throat. Um, wet wipes, um, so I can wipe down my hands or surface or whatever. So, um, this, um, like I said, a lot of the stuff lived here pre-COVID, -pre and this is definitely one of them. Um, this is a Matador blanket. It, it's pretty big. Um, I, lo I like this, you know, um, when I want to go down to the park and sit on the grass and read a book or something, I can put this down so I don't have to. I don't have to worry about my clothes all getting um, dirty and stuff. Not that it's a big deal. I was just uh, larger first aid kit. So this carries more stuff, uh, first aid stuff. The other one is mainly for me. This is for people around me that uh, you know that might require uh, more uh, care. So it has bandages, some um, um, in insect bite. Um, medication um, vitamins iron tablets for things um, the, the other thing that it carries it is a map of tokyo i'm a big believer of physical maps uh, after 311 a lot of people tried to walk home with their cell phones and then their cell phone dies because the cell phone couldn't pick up a signal because the cell network was throttled um, so the gps wasn't working and they got lost and they ended up spending three or four hours walking Having a map and the physical compass on me, yeah, it will allow me to walk home from wherever I am in the city. So that goes in there. Um, what else? Like I said, extra face masks. Um, like I have a family, I'm out and they need a face mask, um, you know, just in case. I have some extras on me. Or I can give it to people that uh, need it. Um, solid perfume uh, that I made. Basically, I have a I have a favorite perfume that I like, um, but uh, I don't want to carry the liquid. So some beeswax and some sheer butter, sheer butter. I mix it up with the perfume. I have a nice solid, um, solid perfume that I can just kind of rub. Smell nice. Yep. So that's that. Uh, mobile battery, um, anchor battery, as always. Um, I have a problem of my family members stealing my batteries because they're like, oh, there's a mobile battery. So I put a sticker on them. They know it's mine. Some extra cables. Uh, the pouch itself is one of those Amazon basic pouches. Um, they're, I like them. They work perfect for this stuff. Uh, more microfiber cloths. Uh, my glasses. I need this to read um, and to, uh, to see presentations and stuff. So carry those. Um, what else is in here? Um, yeah, more cloth. Um, this I carry, um, like I said, I have a thing for flashlights, but this is a headlight. Um, this comes in handy when I'm working on some things and I need both of my hands free. So that runs off uh, AAA batteries. So extra set of batteries in there. Um, but yeah, uh, it's by uh, Black Diamond. Love them. Um, it's, it's super simple. Um, the thing I like about the head set, uh, the headlight being in batteries is that uh, AAA batteries is that are easy to get, and um, I don't have to worry about charging that because I don't use it that often. And when I need it, I usually need it. And I don't want to sit there charging my my light, so uh, run it on batteries. So. 
uh, SanDisk uh, portable SSD. Um, this is the 500 gigabyte version. Um, if I have any data that I need, uh, USB-C connector, uh, carry this uh, for that. What else? Oh yeah, so this is a Joby uh, mobile tripod. Um, uh, I think it's called the, uh, the Griptite mobile. Um, this actually comes in very handy uh, after client meetings. So often is the case that my clients want um, like a like a group photo of the meeting. So then I just pop this on my, you know my cell phone on this, take a picture, then I send it to my clients. So it comes in handy. It's super small, super lightweight. Right, folds up like that. So it sits in there. Another flashlight here that I have is um, this is a. This is a high. This is one I actually kind of modified between two different flashlights. So Nightcore MT21C is the one that has a bendable neck, and but it, but it has a magnet base, and I don't like the magnet base. Um, the MH12 has uh, a solid body but a tail light, so a tail switch. So what I did is I basically grabbed because I had both of them and I combined them together so that now I have like. What I like is the simplicity of a tail switch and a side switch to control the modes um, and a bendable neck uh, and no magnet base. Um, so, <coughs> like I said, something that I just mashed up together. Part of business card, a couple of business cards that I carry in case. This is actually kind of cool. This, uh, my friends of uh, Hack in the Box gave it to me. If you can see their logo there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, it's a pack of smokes because I smoke. That's about and oh yeah and uh, ducks. So <laughs> rubber ducks. Did you expect anything else, right? So this is version two of the EDC bag that I made. So this is version one. I did cannibalize the strap, but the version one doesn't uh, has an orange inside uh, and doesn't have a zipper. So why did I make version two? I could have just made version two. Well, initially I thought I was just gonna use this bag as, as a go between, uh, between here and my, uh, my, my home. And then after using it for a couple of days, I loved it so much. It's like, I really wanted to take it, be able to take it to a more hostile environments um, like shops. And you know, if I leave it at a coffee shop, then having it all open with all this stuff in there is not a good idea. So uh, I spent countless hours watching YouTube clips on moms explaining to me how to saw zippers. So I ended up putting a zipper on top of it. Now this bag is now definitely my favorite bag. Um, ironically, the first one took me about day and a half to two days to build. This one took me about nine hours. Um, and that's, that's, that's one thing, right? As a maker, the more I make, I, the better I get. Um, I have a new skill, I can now do zippers. Um, but also, I know how to build it. it. If you can't see it, but the seams on this, for like the sewing seams on this, are way, way cleaner than the first one, because the first one I'm kind of wandering around through the build. I'm, I'm a horrible maker in the sense that I don't or I can't plan out my builds. Um, I'll have a basic idea, then I start building it, and I'll let the item tell me where it wants to go. Now the item usually it doesn't know where it wants to go because I don't know where I want to go. So as I build it, it's like, oh, I should do this, I should do that. And then the first version usually is always always um, uh, kind of weird and ugly and, and dirty. Um, but the second version, third version, fourth version usually becomes a lot better. Um, like the uh, like my leather uh, holster. This is my fifth version or fourth version. Um, and it's a lot cleaner than some of my earlier builds that I have done. Um, like years back, right? So, if I was a better builder or maker, I would plan every inch out. I would d detail draw it, um, and then go based on that plan. I'm just not that. Um, I'm, I I go with what I where I think I want to go. Now there are things that I that I, you know that I can do very good and land it exactly where I wanted to land. Like you know Raspberry Pi cyber decks. I've built maybe twenty over the years. So. I know, I know how to land that, right? I know where to start, I know where to go. Even if the form factors are different, the cases are different or whatever, I kind of know where I want it to end up. Like, but like 
this is the first big bag that I made. Um, so, you know, the version one, I, w I really liked it. I really loved it. And I loved it so much that the shortcomings started to bug me. So then I made version two. Version two so far, I have no gripes about it. I love it. The construction, I, you know, I'm, I'm happy about it. Um, the quality of the construction, I'm very happy about it. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure in three or four months' time, I'll find something that bugs me, and then I'll make version three, right? So, you know, that's that's the process how I learn. Um, I was talking to a bunch of uh, students uh, from a, from a maker class, and they asked me, you know, um, how I come up with some of the stuff, and I said, "Look, I'm a horrible maker. My fingers have to suffer. My workshop demands that I bleed." For me to 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 be able to make something and you know that's that's literally how i build stuff i sacrifice you know my physical fingers and and emotional stress to learn something and that's the only way i can learn things so um you know people come up to me ask me you know how can i start it's like look just start go out do something you know version one will suck it will be horrible it's always for me too and i've been doing this for years and it's still horrible for me so um, you know, it's what it is. Um, but so I hope you enjoyed my EDC daily carry pocket bag dump video, um, and I'll see you around.